Alright, hey guys, Mustaf here, and welcome back to Regrowth. So, last time, actually I need to get rid of this book I have in my inventory. Um, we worked on a couple things. Not that. I want that. I want to throw... I lost my train of thought. Never mind. So, we worked on compartments. Um, we looked at the 1010 seeds. We looked at the pearls. And this episode, we're going to jump right into it by making Lexica Lotanica. I don't remember which part, which mod it's from, but we'll see here in just a sec. So, you combine any mystic flower from Botania with a piece of paper, and you get the Lexica Botanica. When you hold shift, it says, the 245th edition contains a school of knowledge. Yeah, Botania. Uh, that's very fancy. Your guide to all botanical needs from best-selling author Elizabeth Pika. And there's a quest that goes along with making that, which is why we made it. Uh, you just get some floral fertilizer. And with this... There's a lot of stuff to this. Um, looks like we just need some living wood. That'll come later, though. Apparently, there's a another quest that it unlocked somewhere else. So we'll take just a moment and look where that is. That's not it. No. Don't think so. These are... Excuse me. <laughs> I really need to sneeze. Uh, no. Okay, apparently not. Let's open it up. Fancy. Welcome bo to Botania. I cr congratulate you on the fine choice of strapping a sapling and a book together. Or just finding this tome in a chest. Whichever applies. You can navigate this book using the arrows at the bottom of this page. Like that one. Botania is in essence in a tech mod of definite, by, nef by definition of requiring you to put to use ingenuity, thought, and redstone create and progress. It's good to keep that in mind. You'll also be rewarded with cool toys, blocks, and equipment if you're worried. For all intents and purposes, Botania's model that anyone likes to play the game. Primary purpose of building cool things will likely enjoy. Fully playable standalone. I guess this is just the introduction. Uh, achievements or challenges. Uh, page where you can now please start a tutorial. Get the basics of the mod. Hold shift while bobbing through various categories to get a quick idea of what each thing is. And that's it for the introduction. You can now move on to the tutorial. I hope you enjoy playing with Tane as much as I make. I enjoyed making it. Carry on by pressing the back button. Your right, right mouse or backspace key will have the same effect. While one could go through various entries in their book at the leisure, there's also a tutorial of sorts available. Clicking the buttons below will guide you through the basic concepts of Botania. You can click between an in-game guided tour of this book or a shortest video. And apparently it's not an option anymore. For the moment, anyways. You have started a tutorial for the red arrows and read the contents to be guided through the basics of Botania. Oh, boy. Uh, let's search for something. Um... No, that's not it. I need to be... Wait, what? That is also not an option. Um... Uh, hold on... Ender, bobbles, mystic items... How about this? Uh, mineral. Well, never mind then. Any options? Too much challenges. Okay, this is very interesting. Let's just go through. What did he say in chat? Endo flame. Uh, I don't know where to start. Because of which of your studies, what you mean? Been... 
Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. Cool. So, I was randomly scrolling around apparently in the mystic items. It's like a crossover. Terror Blade. Um, it also says with when you shift a sword that fires a beam that damages mobs. That's pretty accurate with the uh, Terraria blade. That's kind of interesting. Uh, bubbles we know a little bit about. The band of magnetic, the ring of magnetization, and the sojourner sash. This is all very interesting. I just kind of want to know. <laughs> all I want to know is where the seeds are. So he was looking at the quest book. What the? He was looking at the quest book just a second ago, and apparently. Everything opened up. I'll I'll do all this later unless there's something with a really interesting ward. Not really. Uh, and the first one. Chapter two. What the world is made of. You can combine some essence with a man infused ender pearl and rule the world. Ahem. I mean, you can make a s stone, which lets you condense the magic of its essence into a more potent form. How do we make a mana pearl? Let's take a peek. I like any eye. Mana pearl. Da 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 da. Mana infuse um, an ender pearl in a mana pool. So I guess that means we have to set that up first. Cool. Well, I'm gonna pause for just. Well. Well, that was strange. I just left the server for no reason at all. Um. So, in order to make the mana pearl, we just need to infuse an ender pearl through mana, and we get it. I have a couple in my inventory from gathering pearls just a moment ago. so we can uh, do it. So we actually have the amount ready. We just drop it in, right? That drop doesn't work anymore. Yeah, there we go. So the endo flame burns stuff into mana. So any excess we get, we can uh, use there. The mana spreader sends the mana to the pool from this to there. Oh, is that the endo flame? Does it hurt if you walk in it? No, it doesn't hurt if you walk in it. Okay. So burnables, like the fuel thing you would use in a furnace. Okay. And I kind of forgot to mention, over here we have a concentrated essence for when we start needing experience. And we actually have enough that we, if we gather all of it, we get another quest <laughs> somewhere, somewhere along this line here, over here. And we get a whole, and we get a iron thing, a whole bunch of more bushes, and a force of habit. It'll be be nice to have armor. 
I'm not gonna worry about it now, but it's just a good thing to have. So I can put these back in there. We got the mana pearl, so I, that counts as something else. Let's see what that opened up. The detection task, we need a weak infusion stone. Weak infusion stone. The mana pearl is surrounded by essence dust. So I'm guessing the mana pearl is just mainly a uh, material and not a full use. Okay, let's grab eight of these. Go craft it up, and then we'll get some more stuff, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's being just a little bit laggy today. I did a click on this. Open up. <laughs> there we go. Da 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 da. And then you go dun dun da. We could fuse in stone. Followed immediately by a weak essence. Weak essence. Created by four more essence dust. That's a very interesting train of things. Four more of these. Then I have to click on the crafting table. That's. Okay, it wasn't that bad that time. Okay. Oh. Not the ender pearl, the infusion stone, and then you go like that. Is there anything else? I'll take the weak essence. Okay, what comes next? Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Regular infuser, cuprous conduction, repeatable quest, professors on interval two days, next reset. You need 16 clay, floral orange powder, and some weak essence. And it's a manual submit, so... Uh, you have it in your inventory, and then, you, and then you give it to them. And you get an essence of copper. And what you do with that essence of copper... Maybe not. Hold on. Copper essence wherever it is copper seeds copper nugget through mu farm craft uh, where is it never mind so that's a repeatable quest this requires a regular infusion stone so I guess we'll just work th through these until we get uh, a couple minerals. Regular infusion stones. Some materials don't seem to react quite as you've hoped to the weak essence. Baking a new, more potent infusion stone with the essences you've cultivated thus far should allow you to further increase the potency of your essence, allowing more seeds to be developed. You get regular essence and some blaze rods. Regular infusion stone. Runic altar. Never mind. He looks so fancy in his iron stuff. So we'll get to what the This is a runic altar, isn't it? Yeah. I'm guessing it needs to be by a mana pool. Right? I'm gonna not next to. I'm gonna throw these in there. This probably this weak essence. Actually, we'll have another. We'll have this slot open for Botania. Oh, it requires another mana spreader. So right there. I remember seeing this in the. Uh, Darrow of 20 server. So through this, pull out the. Just pull out this. Apparently, I do not. That faces outward. 
this is facing outward over there of course and I can harvest it awesome there we go now wait do we need all this stuff for a regular infusion stone starting with the basics I guess uh, it's copper in the quest book die ender it is it is probably this one so to get an essence of copper we'll need to look amongst the fragments of clay you've dug up uh... what was it uh... floral orange powder powder that's the most interesting one mystical orange petal oh that's what we've been making I think we have a couple of those. And then we'll combine them with clay and weak essence and get a single essence of copper. It's not in that chest, is it? Yeah, that's all the petals. So the orange one is right there. I guess all these correspond to a different mineral that you can gather. I'm gonna gather two of these and then make my own nope he's already got it oh they're just 16 colors of the stuff gotcha we need 16 of this don't we quest book guide me yes we do hooray there we go I spread just handed me 16 clay a moment ago, anyways. And the last thing before we can get a copper is the four weak essence I put in the chest. Habitaba. That, that, then, 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 then. There we go. And now we can manual submit and clean the reward. And now we have an essence of copper. Uses for the essence of copper. Make copper ore. I don't see much use in that. Oh boy. And those are the only two options. And this quest only resets every two days. Okay. Uh, next in the... In that very particular line of quests. I'm gonna rest first apparently. So in that particular line of quests, next in the line is the seeds so that we can start making stuff and doing stuff with it. Open it up please and thank you. There we go. With copper essence in hand and a root of culture at your disposal you think you found a way to infuse a seed with a means to grow copper. Okay. So, using our copper essence, we can make a seed. Oh, we can. We need four of them. We have the essence seeds and the weak essence everywhere. So you need four essences of copper before you can do it. And since it only resets every two days, resets in five hours. Okay. This is carbon. Carbon. Oh, carbon charcoal. And this is tin, I believe. No, that's that's the essence of iron. And this is the essence of coal. Using the power of this, you need four essences of copper before you're able to make a seed. And then you're able to spread that seed, obviously. So you just need four of them, and then you'll be good and set for copper for until you're done. 
Well, in that case, I'm going to uh, just cut out the next couple minutes of us waiting. It says, oh, this goes down really quickly. Hold on, let's gather more stuff and then we'll, uh... yeah, oh, okay, it's Minecraft time. It doesn't actually have us wait for two days. It just means that... Okay, that makes more sense. Ice Bear, can you also gather a copper essence from the quest? Then two, three, four. You did. Okay, so we have two already. Six, seven... Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Open up the quest book and manually submit them and claim our reward. Okay, now to make a copper seed via essence of copper, go to the runic altar, four week essence, and an essence seed, and the four. So I need four week essence. Okay, so we figured out what we uh, needed to do. It kicked the server kicked me off again for some reason. Um, so we're ready. So we throw on all the materials, which happen to be a seed. I swear, told me it would just require the seed, and then four week essence, four essence of copper, a little bit of mana, and you get the copper seed out of it, along with a living rock and a stick. A wand of the forest called bind mode. So you throw these four on. That's a very nice particle effect. We'll throw on our seed and our four weak essence. And they're all dancing very nicely. We throw the living rock on top of the altar and then hit it with a stick. Hit it with the stick. Forgot the most important step. You always gotta throw. <laughs> you always have to throw stuff in the pool first. So now we have the correct essence seeds. Now we can throw those on. What in the world? Okay. Uh, throw the four essence on, and then throw the essence of copper back in. I suppose. Throw the living rock on top of the altar. It worked good. And then you hit it with a stick. Yes, I would like that. There you go. Here's your stick. I think I have a total of two. Is that all I have in here? Apparently. How about over here? No. No. <laughs> well, I can... Oh, he's already put them down. Start it here. I thought that would have a better... A, uh... Better aesthetic to it. Other than just kind of a generic four-plant thing. But... It'll work... Now we can plant them, and now we can wait for the remainder of this. Okay, so that's going to conclude this episode of Regrowth. Uh, during this time and next time, we're going to be working on the other four. This one is the coal. This one is iron. We're not sure what the other two are yet, since they aren't unlocked yet, but... We'll be working on them, and we'll also be working on ender seeds and die seeds. So this is all just basically the same repeatable thing that we just did with the oral, which the with the floral powder of different colors, and you get the essence. And then after you're done with that, you can get some more. I'm gonna wait to claim that just in case. Um, 
and then after you get to a certain point you can plant it and you'll get some copper speaking of which I have some bone meal that I want to use there we go it is now mature it can grow and they do look quite a bit like whatever the mineral is so uh, back here in one of the these quests I'm not sure which one it was I don't know, there's a lot of ones with unclaimed rewards. So one of them had a skeleton thing. Uh, skeleton soul seeds. I just want to show you what it looked like. As soon as it grows... Well, it worked on uh, the copper over here. At least I think it did. I was, I was able to grow this one. Never mind. So it just has like a little skeleton skull on top and it's kind of funny. And with these, we can gather as much bone and bone meal as we'd ever want. So it's pretty fortunate that I went for... Well, I went for the weak essence and he grabbed the skeleton seeds because he knew how important this was. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be working on this one. We're going to be working on iron. We're going to be working on coal. And all the other stuff that needs to be... That we can access from this page. And yeah, that's what we'll be working on. Um, we might also we configure the storage systems, as I mentioned just a moment ago. And that'll conclude this episode. So if you've enjoyed, leave a like and a comment. And if you're new, new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And as always, I'll see you all later.